Alright, let me see. It's, I don't, it's weird interviewing you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the second round of Rap Games and Traps, a company here by Love Jones and your new co host, Baby Boy David. So, what's up, my man? How you doing? Chilling. So, what's your favorite conspiracy theory? Right. That's a weird question. Because they all true. Okay, okay, so which, which one do you feel? Which one do you feel is like true? Uh, gang. 9-11. No, that's not a conspiracy. <laughs> Jet fuel can't burn. That's not a conspiracy, bro. America's on some other stuff. But... Talk to me. What's your favorite conspiracy? Dang. It's so many. But you be on it, not me. I don't even know, my boy. You uh, name me some of your favorites. I'm sorry. Just to, well, give, me to give it all, I think it's some of my favorites. Ooh, there's a good like part. The alien, how about the alien thing? Like, what's that thing called? Area 51? Area 51, but that's that's true. <laughs> that's true. It's most of these things... Most of these things are true, but I think... Probably without a doubt, this might sound a little crazy, but I'm just gonna go off here. It's probably our origin story. So, I'm not one to say I'm to refute God or anything, but I feel like we weren't here necessarily born on this planet. You know... This, Next question. No, no, no. no, 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 no <laughs> see, we gonna get off, but, you know... Life is all around us. As big or little it is, or a huge organism or bacteria, I felt like a conspiracy theory. I wouldn't say I believe 100%, or just it holds some type of craziness to it. Is how they saying that if an asteroid had hit Earth, and that asteroid contained bacteria, in other words, life, and then from there that little bacteria turned into something greater, and this is why we're all here. And I think my second, I think everybody's getting hit to this one, is the Nelson Mandela effect. How you feel about that one? I don't know. It's really crazy. That's because it's true. But anyway, what I believe is, it was actually this video I was watching. I don't know if anybody watched Vsauce, but um, this is this is God, and uh, he was talking about he was talking about humans, right? Like, since we're made of dirt, technically, mm -hmm. but he was saying also we could have like remnants of Mars on us because of like comets or like stars that came from other places and went on the Earth, you know. It fell on the ground, blah, blah, blah. So we could be in a mission. I don't know. That, that'd that be crazy, but my favorite. I don't know. I don't, conspiracy theories. I don't know, bro. That's a good one, the, the one you said, though. Yeah, conspiracy yeah. theories, because truth is, man. But I'm not on that, bro. I don't want that. Question everything. So, it's obviously your turn. Didn't get no answers. All right, no answers. <laughs> so, as much as you might not like to hear it, probably one of the best producers I've ever heard. Even though given that you just started not too long ago, That's not let's true. look back, or not true, whatever. Let's look back at one of your favorite producers. Who's your favorite producers of all time, really? Oh, bro, now this is the question I was waiting for. Uh, some of my favorite producers is, um, keep it going. On uh, work? That's what's up, cause you know, some bull. Some of my favorite producers, ah, uh, you tell but some of my, my favorite producers are, See, they both, this is the thing is, they both from Jersey. Like, mind design, knowledge. Okay. You got, dang, there's so many, bro. Like, we all day. So, what really influenced it's, you, I guess, to create your all style? My, all my, see, that's the thing. Like, my fault, bro. Like, I started off making lo fi hip hop. Yeah, right? yeah, no problem. Because the thing is, I didn't sample. Like, when you listen to a lo, lo fi hip hop, people sample. I didn't sample as much. So, I just made the, whatever sounded good to me. Like whatever Sonic Mellow I just made. From scratch, obviously, right? Yeah, from scratch. Oh, you went? Yeah, I went, I went. That's my fault. Like from scratch, right? Uh -huh. And then, uh, what's it called? I, I forgot, like you forget that I'm making beats for people to rap on. Like I'm not making only stuff to people to listen to. Mm -hmm. I, for, I forgot that literally when I was making stuff. So, like I did more research, listened to more things. That's why it's good to listen to a lot of parts of hip hop. Like me rap, my fault. A lot of parts of rap because could grab all sorts of influences from there, but one of my favorite producers, of course, what they did was like DJ Dahi, um, like I was heavy on uh, Metro Boom and Southside, the whole 808 Mafia, like I was heavy on them because like they, they, you feel me, they, they have, bro, I can't explain it, but they do things their own a, way and they had a little structure. Exactly, they had yeah. their own little thing. So I'm not trying to say I stole from them, but I just learned from them. 
You got influence. Yeah, I got influence from it. Like, I gotta learn. Like, some, some, like, say if I use a drum pattern, some, some drum patterns would be as like sporadic as knowledge is, or like some hi hats. Like, it wouldn't even be dusty. It'd be clean, like, like metros or something. Like, yeah, a little that's what I'm saying. sharp. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. 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 So, so yeah. a little bit of inspiration. Yeah, we can talk about that all day, though. Bro, I can't even blame you. So. How do you feel about hip hop right now? I mean, there's so much thing to even touch about. Like you got the right. Cardi and Nicki, you got Eminem and Machine Gun Kelly, First and then unfortunately the passing of Mac Miller. How do you feel? Well, there's so much I'm throwing at you. you know, really, right. how do you feel about hip hop right now? Um, first of all, I feel like hip hop as a culture needs help because hip hop and rap is two different things. Oh, definitely, definitely. I think people get a little bit mixed up in the sauce. But actually, I like. Let's let's get off what you're going off. Why do you feel like people need help? Hip-hop well, hip hop needs help. There's so many things wrong in it. I don't feel like people are as involved as they should be because that's what hip hop. Like that's what hip hop was. Was. I mean, involvement in the community, involvement especially. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to say it's a black thing. Like you know what I mean, but. It centers a lot around black people, I and mean, that's important to me. That's really important. Uh, of course, I think um, what a lot of people don't really realize is that it's really black culture. You know what I'm trying to say? Exactly. Not to say that Latinos or even white people, as much as people don't want to admit it, white people didn't help the culture from the beginning, but who really took it and ran with it was black people. The majority of the best rappers are black people. Mm-hmm. Not to say that there's a great like Eminem, Big so, Pun, a whole lot. The list goes on. Hopefully there'll be more rappers of diversity. But like you said, with your, how do you feel like hip hop needs a uh, spark of evolution or more involvement from the people? It's just that come on, bro, everybody. I can't even say I, I but I just say you gotta be more involved with the people, bro. People don't speak about like people don't speak about certain things like they should. So like we, I feel like we're just my, my fault, bro. No, I just feel like we're just focusing on. I like, don't get me wrong. I'm like, I'm like I'm all for being hype for real, real talk. But yeah. I'm saying like, I feel like people gotta do for more for the community. Like people, I, what I don't understand is you got people blowing money. Like I'm talking about money on apparel or like jewelry, and they don't get it back to the people. community. And not only that, like when you spend like what a thousand dollars on, like. Like some like a school or something, or like for books or whatever for some kid. Yeah. Like you feel me? You no offense. Like I can't call that selfless because if you call that like, what you invest in yourself, I feel like you can invest in others. I'm gonna make sure like say if I eat food, bro. I'm gonna make sure everybody like, eats. Food, yeah, but I'm saying make sure that like if I cook food for myself, I'm gonna make sure it's like I'm gonna make sure it's really good. Like I'm gonna make sure it's probably a bad analogy, but I'm gonna make sure it's yeah. it's real. Feel me real good, like well, how I like it. Yeah. So saying like saying how I like it, that's how I want somebody else. You know what I mean? I want to have that same sort of energy with somebody else. Mm-hmm. Some people invest so much in themselves, and when they invest so little, people got all they're giving back. They giving back. How I don't feel like that. To me, that I don't feel like that's giving back. Mm-hmm. At the same time, it's not selfish. I understand, but I, I feel like people just don't realize. Like I don't know. I just feel like if I have, I feel like what I invest, what I'll invest in myself, I feel like I should invest in others. Like, I feel like that. So, um, at the end of the day, like, you feel like that certain hip-hop artists or people within the culture have a, not really an obligation, but it should be considered that they give back. Because bro, at the end of the day, they wouldn't be there if it weren't for exactly. the locals. Supporting take care them. of your people. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, take yeah, care yeah. of your people, bro. Like, you really got to. Because ain't nobody taking care of black people. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. Ain't nobody taking care of black people. So I'm saying you gotta take care. We gotta definitely take care of each other. Cause we on some. I don't know. People think about unity. Think about some. Like it's corny. Like what, what part of being united is corny? I don't understand it. Like yeah, there's strength in numbers. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, there's yeah. strength in numbers. So for us to be united, who who gonna take us down? Really? I'm sorry. I haven't gone in a minute. My fault. I'm no, talking. Not even now. That's, that's, <laughs> that's how we know it's good. <laughs> talking, but I don't so. Know, so let's say, just like the infamous Nas said, if I ruled the world, if you ruled the world, what better direction would you take in order to make the world better? Bro, I give it to God, bro. <laughs> I'm dead serious, bro. I'm dead serious. I give it to God. For okay. real. Okay. So you feel like it's just too much of a responsibility for you and your own hands? 
here because there's so much stuff that goes into it. People think it's that, I mean, of course it's mad questions. Like you think about God, think about God is almighty. Why can't he just, you know, there's sick children. Why can't he just heal them? There's people that are hungry. Why can't you just feed them? Or like there's people that's rich. Why are people born into wealth? Some people aren't. Why is this certain structures like this certain structures in our society why is it the way it is yeah you feel me and me taking care of that i don't know especially with human nature you know how we are yeah i don't know bro it's just it's a whole lot of stuff that go into it this is crazy so that being said Yo, i want that one i don't care bro i have more pieces now i want that one <laughs> real talk so we're just gonna keep on going with this unfortunately <laughs> Um, by default, I had to interject. By default, he loses. So he has to eat, drink the crazy hot sauce. I ain't drinking nothing. Listen, I ain't drinking squat. I don't really know, but um, my next question will kind of be a little bit uh, shock to you, but um, do you feel like you find your purpose in life? My purpose? Yeah. Do you believe in that action? Purpose? Yeah. Oh, dang, bro. You should never ask me this one. People won't be mad. Talk to me. You said, do I believe in a purpose in life? Come on, let's break it to your mind. Um, I do. Yeah, I definitely do believe in purpose, but I don't know, bro. Because, I don't know. It goes deeper for me. It goes deeper than that. Some other time, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this though. I'm gonna say this, bro. Wow. I do believe in purpose in life. I believe. I do. But I don't know. So let me try to interject here. Do you believe that certain purpose isn't always good for somebody's life? If that makes sense. Certain like, purpose. like maybe your purpose right here is to be, you know, bless people. I feel music. you. I feel right. You. But another person's purpose, unfortunately, sad to say, is hey, you're gonna be cleaning all your life. So you do yo talk about this. So how right. do you do you think that's uh, a true scenario? Bro, right. today's time. Yeah, we all right. So this is how I feel, bro. Like my brother, I mean, like, like I told you, I worked at a, I worked as a janitor in 2000. Like I worked as a janitor at um, the Newark Public Library in downtown. But, you know I mean, I hated the job so much, Mike, bro. <laughs> well, I gotta do this. <laughs> like, I had the worst yeah. luck when it comes to anything. But um, regardless, I was grateful for the job. Thank God for the job. But I was wondering why I had to do this. And as the weeks went by, you just realized, bro, these people's jobs are just as important as the somebody, next somebody, exactly, somebody yeah. as a doctor. Because think about it, if they wasn't there, then that whole place would have been shut down only due to health hazards. Exactly. And even at, at uh, I, I work at, even at like UPS, like um, there was this time like my my supervisor walked in the truck. He was um, dang, but my supervisor walked in the truck, right? Yeah. And he was talking about like, he's like, oh, you gotta get this truck out. He's like, your jobs are important. He said, well, if somebody need medicine, right? You deliver medicine, and because y'all ain't load the truck fast enough, they ain't get they they medicine uh they medicine um in time. So I'm thinking, I might like, hold up. Sorry, and my job is important. How can my job be important when I'm making 1025? How much you making? So who so how can y'all express that importance when y'all be on some boom when it comes to paying people more? See people at the bottom, their job is just as important because they holding everything up. Real talk. Yeah. Bro, people at Walmart, you see everybody at Walmart, you see the ground folk like the like the um like the cashiers and all that. Yeah. They holding the whole company up for the man on top, whoever the man is. To make that much money, they gotta do their part, and they're doing a the very important part. Because without them, how you going How you really gonna bring the money and all that great stuff? So I feel like there's gonna be people at the bottom, but I feel like we made the bottom seem as not as important. You feel me? Like I don't know. If I think I just how I see it, they don't look at the bottom as important, but it, it really is. I feel like there's gonna be people at the bottom, and we need people at the bottom. No offense. We yeah, I that's like why that. I asked the perfect little question. People like that, but so okay, so given that, yeah. um, this might be a little bit personal question, and I understand if you don't want to answer it. Uh -huh. But 
Why are you doing this? I don't get that, bro. I can't even say for the love of it, honestly. I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong, I feel like, no. believe it or not, everybody might say, yeah, I love this, but I think you would love, love it 10 times. Word. Love is a strong word, but I think you would love it 10 times more if you were making some profit behind it. Especially if you're doing whatever you love. That's, that's definitely the goal. So, with that being said, money, understandable, but human to human, why are you doing this? Right. Hey, don't get me wrong, you're not really in a front line, you know, spotlight making beats, mm -hmm. you know, but really why though? Honestly, bro, I don't even know. Like, I look at this sometimes. Like, I just feel like... I'm a, I'm a, I'm a smart kid. Of course, okay. But it's like sometimes, you know... Like, sometimes... Like, I remember, as dumb as it sounds, I remember there was this post on Twitter, and it was like, why does everybody want to be a rapper? Why does everybody want to do this? You feel me? And I just look at it like, it's kind of true. Like, we need so much more people than just people being in entertainment. Like, I understand, like, it's important. Like, I remember Kendrick talked about how he makes music for people to get through their nine to five. I understand that, but at the same time, like, being a doctor wouldn't be so bad. Like, helping out in Newark wouldn't be so bad. Like, doing certain things. And don't get me wrong, I can do that as whoever I might be in the future. Yeah. I'm just saying, I don't know, bro. We need more things than just people who make music. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't, don't get me wrong, I probably still make music and do what I love. Like, I probably... Yeah, I probably still make music. I make beats. I don't my own rapper. But, yeah, yeah. But I, I don't know, bro. I just that's how I feel. We definitely need more people other than artists in the world because, especially in rap, bro. People be on some food. I'm not food. I'm done. So wow. <laughs> so wow. Uh, so I'm, just, just, I'm sorry. Somebody just texted me. I'm sorry. We're just gonna wait on that. Nah, go ahead, bro. You got it. But um. Really, you know, we're gonna cut a little bit short. It's great having you here, bro. Like, honestly, I feel like you have so much potential in you, and I'm being serious. You know, it's crazy how we might not really see it, but the next man has so much potential and just so much knowledge and whatnot. But I feel like my last question to you right now is if you're looking back on this, right, 10, 15 years from now, and you can tell yourself one thing. Or any other producers just starting off right now, what advice would you give them? I don't feel like I'm qualified only because you just I started making, off. I ain't yeah. making yet, technically. Yeah, yeah. I ain't making yet, but it's, oh. it's simple as don't give up, bro. Don't give up. Bro. That's a simple. It's simple as that. Things are supposed to look bleak. Like things are not supposed to look like they're not in your favor. Yeah. You're supposed to be like, is this really for me? Those questions are you're supposed to ask because that challenges yourself. That challenges if you really want it. Because if you're the type of people who just fickle minded, you don't even know what you want. You just picking and choosing. Just running through life. Exactly. Like, you just. Yeah. I don't know, bro. It's whatever. But yeah, don't give up, bro. You gotta have the mentality like I could do this because you can do it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you go. Your biggest opponent can be yourself. Sometimes, bro. Exactly. Don't Tell even. I'm about to say listen to your inner voice. Yeah, <laughs> listen to your inner voice, bro. Sorry. Sorry. I'm about to say something <laughs> crazy. I'm listen. Sorry. listen. It was great having you here, love. Mm -hmm. Amazing guest, amazing calls, amazing man right there. We'll wrap it up. Thank you once again. Rap, games, and trap. Games, raps, and traps.